Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to discuss about uh, application DB context. So uh, here we have a application DB context in the data section you can see in the project uh, in the web application project and just um, many of the students actually asking me uh, sir just I want to uh, use a object of application DB context in the home controller. So uh, uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, students asking me uh, I don't want uh, we are don't want to use DI uh, in the program.cs file. So just I want to use all the technologies and just don't want to use a DI to inject uh, in the program.cs as a IOC container. So what I do if you want to add a application DB context uh, object in a home controller, what should, what should I do? How to add an object in a home controller of your application DB context? So this is the simple uh, instance you have to create it. That is a private application DB context. And uh, here we have a context. Okay. So uh, that is the context just I want to add in uh, add an object inside in the controller. And just we have to add that is underscore context. And inside the context, you have to add new application DB context, new application DB context. But here we are just going to pass that is uh, that is the Microsoft dot entity framework code or DB context options. So uh, just I uh, just I want to need a DB context option right there. Okay. So here we have just to use a DB context option. So where option builder option builder equals to new db context option builder so here we need to action a db context option so here uh, we use a db context option builder so here we have a db context option builder in which you can just pass application db context so here we use application db context and inside the application db context you can use that is option builder so option builder uh, db context option builder and inside the option builder you can see that uh, here we have a db context option builder right there so uh, db context option builder so option builder dot uh, use sql server u sql server so uh, that string actually a db context option builder that string is a uh, db context option builder so you can use here option builder dot use sql server so you SQL server that is the connection string you want to add it here. So just I want to add a connection string right there. So what is the connection string is actually uh, that is that is your app setting stored session file. So you can if you want to use app setting dot configuration file. So you have to use i configuration uh, on your home controller. So i configuration config and just add i configuration right there so you can use it here so i configuration and here we have i configuration so config object by using the config object you have to just pick that file use sql server config dot get connection string and what is the connection string is right there so connection string is that that is default connection so that is the connection string inside your uh, app setting production file and here we have option builder dot sql server inside the application db context you have to need uh, that is the db context options so that is option builder that is the option builder so use option builder dot options so that is the options db context options okay so uh, here we have uh, option builder and inside the option builder you have to use option builder dot options that is the db context options so by using this uh, line of code you have to create a new connection uh, of your application db context inside your home controller so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core thank you very much for watching